सो वेलकम टू द फर्स्ट मेम्बर्स ऑनली वीडियो एंड एज आई प्रोमिस्ड सो दिस वीडियो इज स्पेशली फॉर द मेम्बर्स ऑनली एंड आई एम गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड टू टू थ्री वीडियोज एवरी मंथ फॉर द मेम्बर्स ऑनली एंड नेक्स्ट टाइम आई वुड आस्क दैट वर्ड वीडियो यू वॉन्ट so today's topic is rheumatology and it is super super high yielding because uh, i have covered about 41 to 42 questions and it's important uh, from medicine perspective and also orthopedic perspective firstly uh, is a classification like this kind of classification no one has shown you so it could be classified means uh, this is a non formal classification uh, based on lupus uh um based on uh, its uh, the classification given and lupus arthritis and myositis lupus as you can understand it includes systemic uh, sle and uh, scleroderma all are also in included jogren's is also included in which ana is positive myositis group in which the proximal muscle weakness could be seen means uh going up the stairs uh, the patient would complain uh, pain on going up stairs and in the arthritis group uh, there is joint pain inflammatory arthritis so rheumatoid factor would be positive based on uh, clinical features and uh, and uh, antibodies also so clinical features and antibodies uh, classification so this is based on classification classification is based on classification <laughs> so the classification is based on mainly the in lupus and myositis group clinical features and antibodies involved and the arthritis group the pattern of joint involvement so there is a overlap between the lupus and myositis so it is called as mixed connective tissue disorder and anti u1 rnp is positive so in uh, first we would talk about the lupus group and the myositis group arthritis group we are taking a separately uh actually rheumat is not about much of understanding it is about memorizing memorizing the antibodies and the symptoms but i have tried to provide you a high yield notes that with the minimum amount of time you could revise the maximum so firstly coming the most important disease that is the sle all the highlighted points are the previous year questions okay so uh, it shows malar rash uh, that's why it is called wolf like rash here in the this region and images i would provide you in the group if you ask for it and it causes alopecia that is non scarring type of alopecia dle causes scarring type of alopecia but uh, sle causes non scarring alopecia the hair gets thinned out and alopecia occurs serotitis lung pleuritis and heart it shows pericarditis oral aphthous ulcer is seen synovitis so joint pain is seen photosensitivity so photo matlab zor se dhoop lagne se kya hoga rona aa jayega matlab bahut zyada light hone se kya hota hai rona aa jata hai so anti ro antibody is responsible for photosensitivity so in beside the antibody i have written and i have marked like this that means that this is this antibody is responsible for this so rona aa jayega so photosensitivity is caused by anti ro antibody another main important point is that it transmits perinatally to cause neonatal lupus which is which causes second degree to third degree heart block so ro se yaad rakh sakte ho bacche ko rog ho jayega rog rog is a hindi term it means disease okay so ro is causing rog to the neonate after that is lupus cerebritis uh, you can easily uh, remember cerebritis means it is a neural component so anti neuronal antibody anti ds dna is also there and anti histone antibody is seen in drug induced lupus uh, it is seen in the ship drugs that is the sulfonamide hydralazine isoniazide procainamide and lupus nephritis in stage 4 there are six stages of uh, lupus nephritis but the main important point is uh, main important is that of stage 4 that is showing the wild loop lesions and on uh, immunofluorescence you can see the full house effect means all the antibodies and all the complements are positive it could cause uh, autoimmune hemolytic anemia so this antibody is easy to remember anti rbc antibody 
and second degree APLA syndrome. You have studied the antibodies in gynecology. So same are the antibodies. Now coming to scleroderma. Scleroderma means thickening of the skin. So if the dermis, uh, the uh, dermis gets thickened, the collagen production is increased. What would have, what will be happen? The skin would be thick. You couldn't pinch the skin easily. You couldn't pinch the skin easily. And uh, in uh, face, you can see microstomia because the mouth could not open properly. Like mouth would open and pinched up nose because uh, it would be tightly adherent you can see masked face, faces apart from this which you could understand with the terminology only other uh, features are found it is classified into du diffuse and limited what i was talking was of diffuse type okay so let's see the diffuse type there could be erythema also there could be so pudi orange also salt paper pigmentation is classically seen it is a classical picture means if you see salt paper pigmentation yeah, maximum chances it is a, a, a systemic diffuse scleroderma so in scleroderma the main antibody positive is most common is ana ana is most co common because i have written here ana ana so ana is the most common antibody in scleroderma bead jogren but the most specific is anti scl70 anti-SCL70 and specific for the diffuse type is anti-topo isomerase and limited cutaneous is crest syndrome so it has many components calcinosis cuties and Reynolds phenomena esophageal dysmorphility and all so crest syndrome C for C anti-centromere antibody so remember like this C for C anti-centromere and crest syndrome now coming is the myositis so coming to the myositis most common symptom would be proximal uh, myopathy and the only uh, myositis that is asked in pyq still now is the dermatomyositis dermatomyositis means involvement of the skin also and involvement of the muscles also so in skin what we see above the eyes heliotrope rash purplish rash in the hands uh, in the knuckles we see the Cotron's papules. I would send the pictures. No need to worry. Okay. In the premium group, I would send the pictures. Mechanics hand. So heliotrope rash and Gotron's papules has been asked many times in the previous year question. And one important thing I want you to remember that uh, it increases the risk of ovary uh, cancer most commonly and GUT cancer also. And the antibody positive is anti jo antibody, polymyositis, only the pro proximal muscle weakness and inclusion body myositis. It could, uh, the differentiation is mainly in the histopathology. Your inclusion bodies are seen. So it's called inclusion body myositis. And uh, there is asymmetric muscle involvement. This is important. Uh, now, a uh, futuristic question I could uh, say that in future this could be asked is the fibromyalgia because many many uh, professionals uh, are complaining of fibromyalgia those who do uh, 9 to 5 job in the IT sectors they are complaining nowadays of fibromyalgia. So the triad is muscle pain. It is a uh, neuropsychiatric uh, kind of disorder only gabapentin uh, pregabalin we give for treatment. So it uh, complains of muscle pain more than 3 months. Uh, memory impairment and disturbed sleep but uh, nowadays 50 to 60 percent patients are showing positive for anti-polymer antibody so it's in rheumat also now jogren syndrome all of you have the idea it's uh, dry eyes dry mouth dry vagina so uh, this antibodies you can remember that ro la ro le matlab wo ro nahi sakta means he cannot cry so we are telling it to ro le bhai role so anti ro anti la and the uh, so dry eyes you know from uh, ophthalmology's perspective that shimer's test is done uh, for the eyes to check the uh, yeah, lacrimal lacrimal output means the tear production to check the tear production we do the shimer's test and the salivary output this was asked in i said that the salivary output less than 1.1 ml per minute is the criteria for Jogren syndrome and there is increased risk of maltoma developing in the parotid glands because there is lymphocytic infiltration this is a futuristic question i would say 
and Stills disease or juvenile uh, rheumatoid arth idiopathic arthritis. So there is daily, along with arthritis, there is daily in intermittent fever and salmon pink macular rash. This is also positive for HLA B27. Now is cryoglobinemia. One question was asked. So triad of purpura, weakness, arthralgia, glomerular nephritis. You can remember that uh, uh, most commonly associated with hep C. So the extra articular manifestations of hepatitis C are due to cryoglobins. Okay. They precipitate at 37 degrees Celsius. So it's also shown by HIV, hepatitis B, Jogren's also. Now inflammatory arthritis. Now classification of the arthritis. This is very much important. So it could be classified firstly into polyarticular and uh, posyarticular. So posyarticular is less than equal to four joints and polyarthritis uh, type is more than equal to five joints. So in monoarthritis, uh, we can uh, classify posyarthritis into monoarthritis and oligoarthritis. So monoarthritis is gout and oligoarthritis is pseudo gout. Under polarized microscopy, you should read the question under polarized microscopy that you would see needle shaped uh, crystals with negative. If it is negative birefringence, it's gout. If it's positive birefringence, it's pseudo gout. Gout is caused by uric acid accumulation and pseudo gout is caused by calcium pyrophosphate accumulation most commonly gout is seen in uh, the first mtp and the uh, pseudo gout is seen in uh, the knee joints and in gout there are martel sign and all so you should remember that also in polyarticular uh, it consists of more than five joints so it is uh, classified into firstly rheumatoid arthritis and spondyloarthropathies which are hla b27 positive okay now uh, you can see the RA factor. The RA factor would be positive here. The RA factor is positive here. The HLA-B27 is positive here. Uh, in the spondyloarthropathies, the distal involvement, uh, there is distal involvement in rheumatoid arthritis. So the joints involved by arthritis, uh, so uh, rheumatoid arthritis, the hand joints are involved, okay? But the TIP is paired. How to remember that uh, uh, because rheumatoid arthritis occurs in females, so they said that we want to apply nail polish. So the DIP is spared. DIP is involved in psoriatic arthritis. And uh, the most common arthritis occurring in males is, uh, is the uh, ang spawn, the ankylosis spondylitis. So it involves the axial spine. So every disease has different kind of joint predilection. And I have said you the trick to remember that rheumatoid arthritis, small joints of hand and DIP is paired. This is asked in the question. DIP is spared because girls want to apply nail polish. So nail polish is applied in the DIP joint only in the nail is in the DIP joint. So DIP is spared, but it is involved in psoriatic arthritis and males most common uh, is the ankylosis spondylitis so it involves the spine and the sacroiliac joint so the, there is another extra articular manifestations if we see of rheumatoid arthritis this had been asked in many many times most commonly we see uh, iritis in other kind of arthritis or other kind of inflammatory arthritis but this is special because it uh, shows keratoconjunctivitis sicca cervical myelopathy could be seen that uh, cervical spine subluxation so they should not do any yoga that is involving the uh, means uh, neck joint putting pressure on it nodules is the most common articular extra articular manifestation and lung it shows pleural effusion exudative pleural effusion containing cholesterol crystals why it is exudative because of there are also pleural nodules and which are filled with cholesterol and they are ruptured so it is exudative and it causes multi uh, neuritis multiplex also so uh, this responds well to demands rheumatoid arthritis biologics could also be tried uh, but spondyloarthropathies uh, arthropathies main stay is the insects and biologics show a very good response. Biologics are important for spondyloarthropathies. I have seen many patients responding to infliximab. 
and infliximab is you would answer this uh, the mechanism of action of infliximab so the spondyloarthropathies could be classified further on axial predominant and the appendicular predominant so in axial as i said it's uh, ankylosis spondylitis so males are most commonly affected the sacroiliac joint is most commonly involved joint the most sensitive investigation is mri but we do x-ray in x-ray it shows bamboo spine it shows a uh, dagger sign or the rail track or the trolley sign so these are very much frequently asked pyqs the schober test is positive that is bending forward if it uh, means measuring with a scale then bending forward if the length does not increase by uh, 5 cm uh, the specific length then it's positive in cvs uh, see the chest could not expand because axial axial skeleton is axial skeleton is compromised so the lungs could not expand much the rib cage could not expand much so there would be restrictive lung disease means a restrictive pattern could be seen and as there is compromise here there could be reflux also so aortic regurgitation is seen and the most common uh, symptom is low back pain in middle aged males this uh, means uh, doing swimming and um, exercise uh, has a lot of improvement in this and enthesitis means enthesitis means attachment of the tendon at the attachment of the tendon there is pain so in the appendicular we could classify according to the joints involved the symmetric small joint type and the asymmetric large joint type so in symmetric small joint type as i said that distal uh, interphalangeal joint and the carpometacarpal first carpometacarpal joint is also involved in psoriatic arthritis so patients with psoriasis i've seen many patients complaining of pain so early dip involvement this had been written in asymmetric large uh, there is ibd associated pyoderma gangrenosum it's uh, very difficult condition with means large scale uh, forming of ulcers so pyoderma gangrenosum and uh, another could be reactive that is the Ritter's syndrome the name has been changed to uh, reactive arthritis lower limbs are involved uh, associated with uti and keratoderma blenorygicum could be seen okay so this is up for today i am providing the pdf in the group and all the best